do a quick save right here. Stop Caesar from she's seizure flashing. There we go. She's gonna do it because she's a beast. Nope. I guess we need boss to do it. Same freaking dialogue. Do you say anything different? That was kind of an odd mini game. It was like somewhere in between Hungry Hungry Hippos and something. Else. What the? That was frightening. Got a sudden urge for freaking regular spaghetti, no sauce, 
just a little bit of olive oil and lots of Parmesan cheese. Don't ask me why. That's just the way it is. You're probably still saying the same crap. Are there any games up here? Is this just the ice cream? Yeah, it's just the ice cream. Sounds so good, I can almost taste it. Awkward. Oh, she's gonna go around and use her feminine wiles to get all of them to do stuff for her. How awful. Let's go do the weightlift game. That ah, sounds like my other roommate's home. Huh? I'll see how her script went. She had to write a play for class. So if you hear that in the background, that's her chatting. Okay, that really wasn't that bad. I got a broken heart. That's kind of awful. Dun 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 dun. Are those like corn on the cob? Plaid wallets? That's creepy. Now he has a love doll to go home to. I did not see 12 games. Unless that, like, shows me where all the games are. Now maybe Hamtaro's done giving his creepy back massage to a little lady. You know, whenever I go to parks, like... Like Six Flags and stuff like that, theme parks or whatever. You know, I always go on the ground base rides because I hate roller coasters. And I don't know, like uh, I usually eat like all the food, like funnel cake and man, freaking Dorney Park is the best because they had freaking breaded, as weird as this sounds, um, breaded broccoli and cauliflower with like an awesome dipping sauce. It was cheap too, it was like a dollar for like 20 pieces, which is pretty damn awesome um, compared to like four dollars for goddamn funnel cake. But, I mean, honestly, like, it makes me kind of glad that they're actually doing stuff like that because it was a lot better than eating like more french fries or like onion rings or something. Um, but I was really surprised and it was pretty awesome after a day of like swimming in a wave pool and stuff like that. Um, stuff like that, but, I don't know. I agree with the South Park, they're, like, when I go to theme parks, like, especially Dorney Park, it was full of, not to sound terrible, but lots of, lots of Mexican people, who were wearing, like, really weird things, like, one kid, it was like, he was wearing just, like, jean shorts, and they were, like, trying to throw him out of the pool, and the guy was, like, screaming at the one, like, attendant, um, about, like, you can't wear that, and the guy obviously, like, didn't understand English, which, you know, is 
not always the greatest excuse for something, but it was, I don't know, it was kind of like dick to, you know, scream at this guy who, like, clearly on the sign said you're not allowed to wear, like, jean shorts, you have to wear, like, a bathing suit. And then, like, not even 20 minutes later, we're, like, walking down and we're waiting in line. And, of course, there are, like, kids, like, playing around or whatever. And there's this one, like, obviously a girl who's, like, freaking 12, who's just wearing, like, boxer shorts. No, like, top or anything. And I was like, what the f***? And security came by and, like, picked her up. And it was just like, what the hell? And, like, I don't mean to, like, sound bad about it, but they were all, like, Mexican people causing problems at it. And, I don't know. Like, I went into the freaking changing room, um, and it was kind of gross because there was this guy who was, like, obviously pooping on the floor. I was like, this is a freaking bathroom. There's a toilet, like, right there. Like, don't just shit on the floor. So, I don't know. And it also makes me incredibly sad because I am way too big to be going to all those, like, things where it's basically like a gigantic Ronald McDonald playset with little water cannons and stuff. And all the tubes that are, like, filled with water. It makes me sad that I can no longer do those things. But, I don't know. I can't move that. Or, seriously, where are the rest of these freaking games? Do I have to just, like, keep doing the games or something? Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> I know where, like, two of these guys are. I know. I mean, I shouldn't feel bad about saying stuff like that, because, I mean, it, it, it was true. Like, and, I don't know. I always, like, I guess, in a way, I kind of get guilted into believing that, like, because someone can't speak English and is rude and disgusting, that I should, like, tolerate the behavior. And... You're a jerk. You know? But, like, I don't know, I just... It just bothers me. Like, I know in a way I shouldn't, like, separate people out like that. But, I don't know. When it comes to, like, nasty stuff like that... I don't know. I just, like, I have to say something because it bothers me. And it's not like I'm, like, noticing it just because they're, like, you know, Mexicans or whatever. But... It just bothers me. Panda. His name is Panda? Like, I don't know. I just remember, like, when I was younger, I went to Las Vegas <clears throat> um, for a week, of course, you know, with my mom, and it was, like, awesome to get out there and do it. And I remember we were, I was in, like, a little water park thing or whatever, and it was really frustrating because, like, I was waiting in line for, like, a rapids ride thing, and this is, like, one of those things that's always bothered me, and when I was waiting in line for it, there was, like, this, like, kind of gross family, like, in front of me, which were, of course, not sound bad again, were Mexican. And, they ate seeds. And, like, they were basically, like, there, were, there was, like, nobody there at the park. So there was just this family ahead, and I wanted to go on this ride. And they were, like, letting people who were obviously, like, Mexican out of them, and, like, people that they knew, and they would, like, get off the ride, and then there would still be, like, people waiting, because there was, like, still a queue up, and there was, like, this big Mexican family. And then the people who were getting off the ride who were in that family were just getting right back in line and going on the next one. So I was, like, standing behind them, like, waiting, like, what the f***? And they kept, like, basically budging people ahead. And it was so, like, I don't know. It just pissed me off. Like, who behaves like that? Like, I don't know. Even if I could do that, I wouldn't do it. I'm gonna go for this. I don't know. And I don't mean to sound like I'm picking on anyone or anything, but, like, I don't know. 
it always bothers me. about that friggin' breaded fried broccoli. It was so damn good. Peanut loaf. Busy screaming like a maniac. Ugh, it's the flasher. What's up here? That guy's eyeballs are dripping out. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop the episode here. So, I'll see you in the next episode of Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue with me, Morak Dice. See you later.